Hey there, I'm back with another travel diary, this time to Spain. It's our first day in Barcelona. We're gonna head out. We're gonna head out now. We're gonna go get some coffee and pastries and then go to the Sagrada Familia. We have 10.30 tickets, so we actually have to go right now. Oh my gosh, doesn't recognize me as a human. There we go. got to the Sagrada Familia. It's so amazing. We actually initially got to the back of it and we thought that was the front and we were already blown away. feel amazing, very life-changing experience. I've also never felt this type of fear before as we were going down the stairs and the spire. Something about the narrowness and the, the height combined, like claustrophobia and fear of heights. But walking into the Sagrada Familia, like my, my brain can't process it. Yeah. Do you mind if I film you for a video? Just no, say. No, no. Thank you so much. You're what welcome. was your name? Danilo. Danilo?
I don't Oh know. yeah, we uh, already paid for those paintings. Yeah. It's 100% Iberico and fed with the acorn. It's the top quality of the ham. This is the mother's one. This is aromatic and sweet from the center. And from the south is more powerful. Cheers. That's so good. So that was from the north. So this is from, I just ate one from the north of Spain. It's the mildest ham. I don't know what this is. It's pretty good. I'm glad we got to try it. It's been really interesting. My day started off like life changing at the Sagrado Familia. Now I'm just a little tired. <laughs> the jet lag, lack of coffee is catching up to me. I'm eating um, oxtail with foie gras and it is so good. Mm. Hey, let me zoom in a little bit. <laughs> That's how much I slept. Yeah, pretty sick of that. <laughs> me too. You don't want it to cool down. Morning's going all right, considering we both only slept about two hours. We're on our way to Monsterat via train. So we have about um, 30 minutes? and then we're leaving on train, and the train's gonna take an hour. Yeah, we're both really tired. Last night, we did not get a lot of sleep. So I slept about three hours, Babe slept about two and a half hours. So, super sleepy, but we're gonna power through today. We have to get through the jet lag. Just power through, enjoy the day.
<sighs> this hike was more than I bargained for. And as hard as it was coming up, I'm a little bit worried about going down. Anyway, the only way is forward. Okay, follow me. Are you following? <laughs> sitting here I'm not gonna lie this is terrifying I got this it's all good and mountain made it to the top of st. John Whew. still in Montserrat. We're waiting here in the cafeteria because we missed our cable car on the way down. So, but the good news is that we can take the train down. We just had to pay for another ticket. We're both totally wiped. I overcame a lot today. It was so terrifying at the top of the mountain. So I didn't go all the way to the top and I literally had to sit down on the stairs on the way up to the mountain and I felt like crying because on both sides it was just like, a plummet to your death. It was really beautiful though and like a really really unique hike. Like We got the twin size beds. It smells so good too. Hello, we're in Granada. Look how beautiful it is. So we got in like two hours ago, but we didn't get enough sleep last night. So we went to the hotel, we checked in, we took a nap, and then now we're gonna go sightseeing, go to the cathedral. It's so pretty. And the streets are like really compact and windy and it's this blend of like a Spanish town and it kind of reminds me of Morocco a lot, which makes sense because there's a lot of like Moorish influences and, and Arabic influences here. Oh, 
We should have waited another minute. That was pretty dry. <laughs> <laughs> We're at a restaurant that Bay picked out. It's called La Botilleria. La Botilleria. It was really good. The service was what we amazing. Eat? We had a, a salad and a pate with truffle. And then finally we ended with this like pork belly with mustard. That was amazing. That was really good. Okay. Hello, man. Hello. <laughs> From Spain. Hello. Hello. <laughs> He's awesome. <laughs> bye bye. Colorful streets to walk through. So nice. Good morning. Good morning. We are, wow. You know what? I'm just going to take you a look at the street. Right now, we're walking to the Mercado de San Agustin and a quick coffee, and then we're going to go to the Alhambra for our guided tour. We just went to this amazing, very homey bakery right here. <laughs> oh my god, we got like so many things. Well, we got like four things and it was like three and a half euros. Oh, I was so happy. I don't know, people are so nice. We didn't speak, they didn't speak a lick of English and I didn't speak a lick of Spanish, but we managed to make it work. And it was uh, very wholesome. <laughs> Cheers. 
We just completed our tour at the Alhambra, the big palace city in Granada. It was probably one of the best tours I've ever been on in my whole life. We went to the Alhambra, the Nazareth palaces, the Generalit, the gardens. It was so great to have a tour guide because the palace has this really complex history. It was constructed by the Muslims but then taken over by the Catholics and also many different people occupied it at different times and it was also destroyed at different times. So the guide was able to point out all the areas that were restored and influenced by different things. Um, and then now we came back into town to Bar La Riviera where you get um, free tapas with your beer. We're in the Albay scene. We stopped in this little courtyard here. It's a mirador, a viewpoint to look at the Alhambra. This is the day I was born. It was so amazing. Spiritual. I want to do this all the time. I feel like a different person. I feel like I shed like an old me in there. 